You ready to make avocado toast? Give me a pop. Thank you. Thank you. Might not be seeing too much of her, man. She keeps stealing turkey sandwiches off the counter, so she's not supposed to be in the kitchen anymore. Ah, hey, hey! You've been bad, haven't you? You stealing turkey sandwiches? What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Oh, the secret to good avocado toast is good bread. This is Japanese shokban. My friend Elaine makes this over at her bakery, Mochiko Cincy. It's where you see uh, my friend Eric, uh, their, little, their little thing, you know? Yeah, she makes this badass shokban, and I got a ton of it. You see, I'd use a bread knife, but I don't have one, sadly, so I'm using this regular knife. <laughs> I think that's gonna be too thin, we'll see. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. They actually look the same. <laughs> I guess it's really up to you what kind of bread you want to use. I would either use um, shokupan, I love shokupan a lot, or like a crusty sourdough has a great flavor too. The secret to avocado toast is the toast. Everyone's more or less buying the same Haas avocados and it's important to season it, but the toast that you use is gonna play a huge factor in it. So remember to toast your bread right. This is a wicked nice heirloom tomato. We're just gonna cut it and cook it in the oven a little bit. Give it a quick broil with some garlic oil and and then that'll just help concentrate the flavors. Gotta do this perfectly. Got pretty big slices out of these. If you don't have a sharp knife, one of these is gonna be your best friend. Now this is probably the easiest way to cut a tomato if you don't have a sharp knife, is to just use a serrated knife. If you don't have a serrated knife, just give a little pokey poke to it, and then that'll give you a big enough incision so you can cut right into the tomato. This tomato looks so fucking epic. Just gonna put these on a wire rack. That way the air can circulate around and it's not gonna pull up right on the bottom. I found this in the freezer, I'm not sure what it is. It looks like garlic oil, but with like a ton of other spices in it. Yo, yum! I'm just gonna brush a little bit of this on just to give it some extra flavor. And then a good amount of salt so it starts leaching out that water in the broiler. To the broiler! The oven's not that strong, so we're gonna see how long it takes. I'm gonna check it after like 10 minutes. Like tomatoes. While I'm waiting for those tomatoes, I'm just gonna make a couple quick toasts because this bread is so fucking good, man. Well, apparently I don't have any strawberry jelly, so we're just gonna be using this aloe vera one. Just treat this like it's strawberry jam. The secret is, since strawberry jam or preserves are so sweet, we're just gonna add a little bit of vinegar to like make it a little bit more tart. Just a little bit though, you don't wanna go nuts with it, you know? Make sure you're giving things a taste as you go. Yeah, we could definitely go a little bit more vinegar. Okay, that should be good. That's it, baby, that's it. And then these are the other ingredients I'm gonna use. This is uh, like low fat peanut butter powder. It's actually super tasty and really healthy for you if you're trying to, you know, shed a couple pounds like me. And this is just some salted uh, cashews. Chop a little bit of that up. The real magic though is right there. You see all that, uh, that peanut butter salt right here? Dude, this is the fucking, this is the magic right there. <laughs> a little bit of that jam. Just pretend it's like peanut butter and jelly. I actually like how it's like completely see-through. This that peanut butter powder. I'm just gonna fucking cake it on. And then a good amount of crushed peanuts. This is where all your texture is gonna come from. And the secret ingredient is this peanut salt that's like just hiding in the corners. And there you go, peanut butter and jelly. That aloe vera jam is nuts, man. If you can find that, it's so good. You'll typically find this in like Korean or just Asian grocery stores. Grocery, is that a word, grocery? I think technically it's a tea jelly, so you'll find it by like citronella and you'll see plum extract a lot, but dude, if you can find the aloe vera flavor, <sighs> nuts, dude. Yo, I'm getting way too excited. Bro, it's getting so hot, man. Dang. Dang. All right, I'll show you guys the real basic avocado toast now. So to make a crispy egg, you just get a pan really hot, a good amount of oil, let it come up, and then you just crack your egg in there. And then you kill the heat. And by the time you need it, the whites will all be set and the egg will still be runny. Next part. As far as avocados go, this is what you want it to look like. You can have a little bit of brown, that's totally fine. The thing is, it just gets mushy and you don't want that. And to get the pit out, don't chop it with your knife like you see everyone doing. You're ruining your blade. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta respect your knife a little bit. You just give it a little love and that 
it comes right out. That's it, dude. I usually just scoop it out of here, but if you want it really pristine, you just cut it in half, and then you just peel the ends off. That's it, brother. Look at that bald head, man. When I go to slice it, I just slice it as thin as I can. But I don't think it really matters, uh, especially if you're gonna mash it up, you know? Flip it around, and then when you press down, it'll separate like that. Kind of fucked up right there. Goodbye. All right, we got our toast here, the avocados. And we're gonna give this thing a good amount of salt. One, because avocados are all fat, and they need a lot of salt. And we also wanna season the bread, too. Normally I would use lemon or lime, but sadly, this is the only acid that I have right now, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this over the avocados. Here's that perfect egg, man. Look at that, dude. Right on top. And then the everything white girl seasoning, dude. So I didn't season the egg at all, so we're gonna go pretty liberal on this. Gives it a lot of texture, too, so boom. There you go, look at that. Basic avocado toast. Let's see, and then we'll move on to the other, uh, other avocado toast, oh yeah, look at that, dude. This is how I like to eat it nine times out of 10. Damn, that's a big ass avocado. Some salt down, this is some avocado salsa. Oh yeah, dude, we got a little more, I love this stuff. These are pickled onions. These are just really pretty. They also are gonna add a ton of texture and a ton of acidity as well. This one's gonna be really acidic. Some of those pickled chilies from earlier. Just a couple bad boys. And then this, the magic ingredient right here. These are stems chopped up from cilantro. I don't know why so many people throw this stuff away. It's so good. So boom, a little Mexican style avocado toast. These are so good. My fat ass has been eating all of them. Cheers. All right, last one. This was like 30 minutes, but look at how good they look, man. Ooh. I'm super psyched for this one. I actually don't even eat avocado toast ever. Not for any particular reason. You say I just don't have any avocados in the house. <laughs> Whoop, okay. Salt. Boom. I'm gonna put two on here just because these taste so damn good. 100% totally authentic balsamic vinegar from Italy. Uh, this stuff's like $3 in the store. It's so good. Buy it. It's gonna add a lot of sweetness and a lot of acidity as well. And since this thing doesn't have any texture really, I'm gonna add some fried garlic to it. Oh yeah, load it on. This is probably overkill, but fuck it. And this is some opal basil. We're just gonna shingle a little bit on there. And like I said, this is probably overkill, but it's gonna be damn delicious. Maybe one more. There we go. Nah. Nah. I don't like that. How about that? Yeah, that looks all right. There we go. This is super tomato avocado toast. Eat more avocado toast. 